Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today I want to give you guys my glorious highlight of the dankness. Uh, the darkness, of course. Arguably, well, possibly not so arguably, one of the worst cards in the game. Certainly one of the worst cards in Arena. Somehow it takes up the legendary slot, and I'll even show you guys what leads up to actually even drafting this card to begin with. Turns out, Blizzard's new drafting system of giving you cards that are on similar power levels certainly has its pitfalls, and uh, sometimes, you will, like me, end up with a darkness in your deck. Now, what makes this card really interesting, uh, right now at least, is not necessarily because you can get the darkness actually out. You still have to get incredibly lucky, even though a lot of games go to fatigue. If you're one playing a four mana do nothing for almost the entire game, you're probably not making it to fatigue because that's basically a zero tempo play. So that's not really a factor, but it certainly has some other benefits. And funny enough, I experienced those the other day, so I wanted to give you guys best of the best darkness in arena. Well, kind of. Enjoy the games, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> uh, there's no fucking way that I'm taking Millhouse. So I'm just taking darkness. Fuck that. Let's go. Mailhouse is pretty good on average, but it's like 30% lose instantly, and it's unplayable against Paladin and Druid. So like, eh, I'll pass. No thanks. And Priest, well, that's where the 30% comes from. This deck is so awful. It's gonna take me, it's gonna tell me to pick Deck of Wonders, possibly. It is possible. It's the Arcane Missile that screws it up, I know that. Nah, let's go Mindbreaker. Yeah, Elemental's good, why not? Let's go with the Royal Garden. I am missing removal and big minions. This deck's a hell of a lot worse than the last one. Yep, 65.9. Shaman going second. Have to full mulligan. This is very much the same story as the last few games. I'll end up playing the darkness at some point, but it's a zero tempo card unless we literally hit the lottery, so. I see. Five, three through 23 runs this event and your 1% is 20% lower going second. 20% lower means like double or triple with that kind of win rate, by the way. I don't have a lot of answers. Should I just try to RNG an answer? Nah, let's just play this here. So we can do that. And then that. And then that. Darkness easily better. Yeah, I don't think so, actually. Oh, that was a horrible hex. Holy shit. It was like absolutely atrocious. see how have I done this event 35 runs 7.26 average my first versus second is not affected too much 
7% difference, the relative difference is about 20%, so I have about a 20% higher chance to win if I go first. Good, but it's not game breaking. Spell damage totem. Four, four, four. Oh. Insane RNG, how about that? It was Darkness, Millhouse, or Mookla. This is like the worst shit ever. Wait, what? Oh my god, I'm done. Alright, that was actually really fucking bad. Darkness MV fucking P. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Dude, all these all these cards are getting nerfed. This turned into a hilarious game. Alright, I'm not laughing quite as hard anymore, but you know, it's still pretty funny. Fuck, you got the heal totem too. Oh, that's gnarly. Oop. We're doing anything there? Um, mm, yeah, I think we are. I think we are. Uh, if you insist. Do that. Now we do that. Okay. Ah. One by one. Oh, just one? Day? Come on, bro. Hook it up. Give me some candles. He hit four and everything again. Ugh. Wait, he has two Murlocs? The Darkness. Best pick, guys. Best pick. Oh my god, look at that. Just in time to reroll this trash quest too. My luck is really turning around. Oh, 20 extra. Oh baby. <laughs>